Nanoscience and nanotechnology are revolutionising our world. So here at the University of Sydney, we've established the Australian Institute for Nanoscale Science and Technology. The flagship building of the Institute is the Sydney Nanoscience Hub, which is the most technically sophisticated building of its kind in Australia. Here we bring together cutting-edge capabilities of top-down fabrication and bottom-up synthesis, enabled by amazing physical infrastructure and the very best researchers in those fields. Nanoscience is the study of the structure and function of materials on the nanoscale, which is simply one billionth of a metre, or roughly about 10 atoms in a line. On these scales, matter behaves in a completely different and sometimes counterintuitive way. The Institute has an ambitious agenda to discover and harness new science at the nanoscale. Nanoscience is rapidly generating new knowledge that can be translated into innovative technologies. Our research will impact a huge variety of areas, from energy resources and next generation information systems, to disease detection and personalised medicine. My group works in quantum physics, which is the laws of nature at the nanoscale. We're interested in harnessing, discovering and controlling those laws in order to build quantum technologies. A great example is the work that we're doing on nanodiamonds. Nanodiamonds are tiny crystallites of carbon atoms brought together on the nanoscale. They're synthetic, readily available, non-toxic and safe to be used in the body. What we realised is that nanodiamonds are in fact magnetic and we could program those magnetic states to make them light up inside an MRI. The physics behind how this actually works is we're able to hyperpolarise the nanodiamonds. This is a technique where you align the magnetic moments of the atoms. The idea is to take that magnetised diamond, attach it to a biomolecule that's used for targeting cancers or tumours, and thereby track where those biomolecules go throughout the body by imaging the nanodiamond inside an MRI. The next step for us is to take this result out of the physics lab and into a biomedical context. What we want to do is take what we've demonstrated and show that it can have impact in biomedical systems thereby taking a pharmaceutical problem, turning it into a physics problem. My team and I are developing a photonic chip, which represents a new paradigm in information processing. Photonic chips rely on nanophotonics, manipulating light at the nanoscale to achieve revolutionary information processing. A processor is hardware that takes information in one form and transforms it into another form by an algorithmic process. Current electronic processors use electricity or electrons which make for bulky, slow and energy-hungry processes. Our photonic processors use photons, the building blocks of light. They move at the speed of light. They benefit from being very compact, energy efficient, immune to electromagnetic interference and super broadband fast. These chips provide breathtaking processing capabilities, orders of magnitude beyond microelectronics. Functions in health, security and communications that were previously impossible can now be achieved in these thumbnail size chips. A recent example from my group is the demonstration of a photonic chip that manipulates microwave signals, providing a flexible broadband platform for radar applications, security, defence and surveillance. Our research using trapped atomic ions is focused on trying to harness and exploit quantum mechanical phenomena as resources to power a new generation of quantum technologies. We've had extraordinary successes to date, everything from quantum control to quantum metrology. Quantum science is an extremely dynamic discipline and a real strength in Australian research. Our research and prototype foundry features over 700 square metres of outstanding clean room space. This allows our researchers to write out and build the structures that they imagine with nanoscale precision. Let's take our eyeline stepper. This instrument allows us to make integrated circuits via an advanced process known as photolithography. The stepper passes light through a special mask that projects an image of the integrated circuit onto the surface of a silicon wafer. After exposure, the coated wafer is developed, causing the photoresist to dissolve in certain areas depending on how much light they received during the initial exposure. Our eyeline stepper, together with other instruments in the clean room, such as our electron beam lithography tool, in close proximity to our flagship research laboratories here at Sydney Nanoscience Hub, makes for a really efficient workflow, from fundamental discovery through to the prototyping of new devices. All of this adds up to a truly unique research enterprise, one that is clearly the leading research institute in Australia, and one that is undoubtedly world class.
This institute represents the University of Sydney's major investment into creating a secure, sustainable and healthy future.